Hi everyone, I'm Joe Guerra and I'm a product manager at Map Anything. Map Anything makes software to take all of your business data in Salesforce.com and put it on the map. We're located right here in Charlotte. I want to talk to you during this Ignite about how I use the Amazon IoT button to help me learn more about a Map Anything IoT product and how that relates to DevOps. IoT, or the Internet of Things, is a system of ubiquitous sensors connecting the physical world to the Internet. And that makes me think, how do we store that data? How do we process it? And who does all that? IoT is growing. There are going to be 50 billion devices in 2020, and that's a lot of data to store and to manage. At Map Anything, we're getting into DevOps and to AWS to scale our IoT product. Map Anything has a product called Map Anything Live that live tracks vehicles with GPS units, those are our IoT units, and we have a robust rules engine to process all that data and to answer questions like, where are my vehicles? When do they do for maintenance? Are people speeding? And as a PM, I thought, how can I myself get started with IoT so that I can better contribute to the team? into the IoT product. So my solution was, why don't I order one of these Amazon IoT buttons? I'll set up an app, a basic app, to text myself. I'll get familiar with all the pieces of IoT. Went to the documentation and very quickly got overwhelmed. This is the IoT infrastructure. There's a lot of scary things there for a PM, policies, roles, lambdas. And I thought, have our devs seen this before? We're used to salesforce.com not AWS. Fortunately for me, Amazon has a very nice app that lets you set up your IoT button. It guides you through all of the steps, creates the lambdas, the policies, handles all the complicated stuff. Then you sign into the AWS console, and as a PM, I'm able to handle a couple lines of JavaScript to get this all going. Of course, our developers can do a lot more robust things with their lambdas. For the Map Anything Live product, we use lambdas as the core of our rules engine. Now with lambda, I was able to connect that for my little button to if this then that, which is a really great product out there that connects actions to events. It's kind of like a baby's rules engine. It handles all the hard parts for you. When I press my button, I get a text message. In Map Anything Live, when someone's speeding, their boss gets an email. So this was the moment of truth. I set this all up myself. When I push the button, am I able to get it to work? No. Yes, yes, oh, I was able to get it to work. <laughs> all right, so I did eventually get this all to work. Shocking, as a, as a PM, I was able to start spamming my Slack channel. So I went from my button to Lambda to if this then that into Slack. I was able to touch all of these parts of AWS and you know, that's really where it starts getting creative with if this, then that. I'm able to take all of these actions and, and build, again, that baby rules engine. Now, some other people came up with some really clever things. You can push the button, and that lets everyone in your company know a fresh pot of coffee is made. One guy, when he gets hungry, presses the button, Domino's Pizza shows up. This one, I really like. This guy, when he pushes his button, he gets a text of where he should eat, whether he should eat out or get delivery. It bounces off Yelp, it bounces off the weather, and it's a great example of a rules engine and using these lambdas. So why was my IoT side project important? Amazon made understanding IoT accessible to me as a PM. It helped me gain some credibility with our developers, and it opened up the conversation about IoT. This is what the Map Anything Live product looks like. We have our IoT devices, our vehicle trackers that pass through our rules engine, the data gets sent to, map, to Salesforce, and then we eventually put it on the map and map anything. We use Dynamo, Redshift, EC2, Lambdas. We have thousands of IoT devices out there today. We handle about a million data points a day, and we're set up to scale to keep up with our, with our customers and their vehicle operations. So in closing, keep an eye on IoT. Try it out yourself with one of these buttons and know that there is a big need for some quality DevOps to manage these systems moving forward. Thank you.